why talk about Markov chains now? So far, the only material we've used is matrix multiplication from all the way back in chapter two. Let's now bring eigenvalues into the mix. Let's say that British Airways keeps track of whether people who fly with them fly with them again next flight. So if we're looking at a traveler, that traveler could occupy one of two states. They could be flying with British Airways or they could be flying with a competitor. And let's say we have the following transition probabilities. With these transition probabilities, we can create a transition matrix. So remember that the columns of the transition matrix are where um, we're coming from, the rows where we're transitioning to, here are our states, and here are our transition probabilities. This matrix has two eigenvalues. The eigenvalue we're going to be interested in is lambda equals one. And any eigenvalue has infinitely many eigenvectors. The eigenvector we are going to be interested in is this eigenvector, which is a stochastic. It is a stochastic matrix. Tricks. Well, this being an eigenvalue with this our eigenvector tells us that if we take this vector and hit it with this transition matrix, nothing changes. A times V equals one times V. And that tells us that if the initial probability distribution was point four point six. So if a customer was 40% likely to use British Air and 60% likely to use the competition, then the probability distribution will always be point four point six. 
we take this probability distribution, we hit it with the transition matrix, nothing changes. Now, a definition and a theorem. Or two theorems, let's say. Every transition matrix has an eigenvalue of one. So no matter what the details of the Markov chain, the transition matrix definitely has one as an eigenvalue. Now a definition, this eigenvalue has infinitely many eigenvectors associated with it. If one of those eigenvectors is stochastic, it is called a steady state of the Markov chain. And theorem, every Markov chain has at least one steady state. We'll continue our discussion of steady states in the next video.